improve the quality life of people and enhance the satisfaction levels of consumers, the Government of India and Manipur Government jointly initiates a scheme on availability of reliable, quality and affordable 24-7 power meters for all. A report. By implementing a novel idea in 2014, the state of Manipur has now finally witnessed a change in the power sector by delivering quality and reliable power supply with the help of the new prepaid power facility. The installation of about 2.2 lakh prepaid electronic energy meters is providing 2.40 lakh consumers of the Imphal Valley with sufficient electricity. After the introduction of prepaid meters, the state revenue collection has reached Rs 20 crores, which is a significant rise from Rs 2 crore. This new system of power supply has also resulted in the detection of unauthorized consumers and ensured spot collection of revenue. With this exercise now completed, the MSP DCL has decided to recover outstanding dues from prepaid consumers. The total number of electricity consumer in the state is 2,80,783, including 2,64,101 domestic consumers. Due to the lack of or this one infrastructure and the uh, energy, this one recovery mechanism, we were running in losses. And then we took the novel idea of providing prepaid meter in the sense because it does not have all the this one uh, this one problem associated with the meter reading, bill distribution, bill preparation, accuracy of the meter, etc. In short, actually, human element actually involvement was completely minimized. There is one aspect, and the billing is 100 percent, and the collection is also 100 percent. Present, out of a total installed capacity of 2,054 megawatts in the northeastern region, 182 megawatts is currently being allocated to Manipur. Of this, 99 megawatts are allocated to hydro projects and 83 megawatts to thermal projects. The Union Ministry of Power has launched the Integrated Power Development Scheme or IPDS which aims at achieving the targeted ATNC. Aggregate technical and commercial loss reduction trajectory and providing 24 7 power to all states in the country. The scheme will enhance strengthening of the sub transmission and distribution system, including provisioning of solar panels, metering of distribution transformers, feeders, consumers in the urban areas, and IT enablement of distribution sector. As per Census 2011, 28 towns of Manipur are eligible under IPDS. However, MSP DCL has considered 12 towns only and detailed project report or DPRS for the 12 towns that includes Imphal, Lamseng, Wangoi, Wangjing, Yaripok, Sugnu, Herok, Jiribam, Temenglong, Ukrul, Kampok P and Sekmai. Right now, as we have mentioned earlier also. Like now, right now we are targeting district headquarters, uh, high consumption area, town, and uh, uh, where there is a concentrated set of consumers, not in the remote area, where uh, far flung area. In this area, you have a mobile signal. Though you don't have internet, like I said before, uh, we have an MPI service coming up. Uh, he or she will be able to recharge through the SMS only. You don't have, you need internet connection. Before, Lots of consumption was there, I think, and but no revenue is coming up. It's just because of the theft of power. Nowadays, I mean, people also realize that it's better to get uh, power rather than theft, so that we all people can enjoy. And on top of that, I mean, people are also using LED lights and all, so consumption are much, I mean, lower nowadays. Such efforts in bringing uninterrupted quality power to each household, industry, commercial business, small and medium enterprises and establishment, any other public needs and adequate power to agriculture consumer brings a smile to the face of the people and results a satisfactory consumer. It also builds a sense of responsibility of the people 
and attains a greater care towards environment. Thank you.